For the first time in history, residents of urban areas outnumber residents of rural areas. It is estimated that by 2050, 70% of the world's population will live in cities. Industrialization, which provides economic opportunities in cities, also contributes to environmental degradation. The effects of this degradation have made life in rural spaces more difficult. We spoke to a hydrologist working in Waterbury, Vermont, about these changes. The studies in the region all say, you know, there's been higher, larger floods. Like, this is a study of gauge data and statistics, of, and they've also been more intense floods. So, more damages from those floods. That's a huge change in our precipitation patterns in mountainous regions. Um, and I think it's going to affect the world, you know, disproportionately arid areas are getting drier and the mountain areas are seeing more flash flooding. Things are changing for sure. It's kind of undisputable in terms of like hydrology. Changing weather patterns pose a threat to those who live off the land and to livelihoods that rely on the weather. In southern Bhutan, where subsistence farming makes up much of the economy, unpredictable weather patterns are also devastating to rural communities. Here is what a local leader had to say. Previously, in earlier days, we would be able to harvest any crops and any vegetables. We would have good income, but because of the change in the climate and the global warming effects, we are not getting much rain as we used to. So most of our crops, they die because of the water shortage. There are some crops which need to be planted during the rainy seasons and the dry seasons. And now it has become quite opposite. So now the crops we plant during the rainy seasons die because of less rain and the ones that we plant during dry seasons die because of the rains. As climate change diminishes the ability to make a living in rural villages, there has been increasing pressure for people to seek economic opportunity in cities, creating a trend of migration from rural to urban areas. A mother in Bhutan explains... I feel like the kids are better here in the village, but even they'll be better off in the city because there are a lot of facilities down there. However, many rural residents in both Vermont and Bhutan are resisting the pressure to migrate to the city for a multitude of reasons. For a young man we interviewed in rural Bhutan, the choice to stay was based on physical health. Uh, I want to stay on the air because, uh, what to say now? <laughs> get healthy for our body uh -huh. when we stay at village. For a young Bhutanese schoolgirl, her decision to stay in her rural village was motivated by a desire to maintain independence. That is difficult to survive. <laughs> in a village we can do everything. We can do work, field work. That's why we serve. We make our life in in village. For a Vermont homesteader, resisting the pressure to move to the city was a matter of personal identity. For us to leave, to represent, you know, another type of person, um, the act of actually leaving where we are is such a, you know, our roots are so deep and it's so hard to do. And then when we go out there, it's hard to see us for who we are because we are, we are this. As the environment continues to change, the choice to remain in rural areas becomes increasingly risky. This week in a small flood, the neighborhood was isolated because the dam overtopped. But they're very resistant to change. They've moved here, it's their home. They don't want, they feel very connected to this pond. It's, com it's completely unsafe for them and the downstream neighbors. It's an environmental problem. But still, the people whose grandparents built that dam or grew up in the middle of the dam, it's hard to let go of that stuff. For people in rural areas, the personal fulfillment that comes from their connection to the land cannot easily be outweighed by the benefits of urban life. The changing environment will force many to migrate, but rural life won't be abandoned without a fight.